guys, it's Rainer from Excitech and let's have a quick look at what's new in SketchUp 2018. Okay, the first one and quite a big one is there's no more SketchUp Make. No 2018 release on this, you can still download the older versions but nothing new in 2018. So if you are looking for a free version of SketchUp that's up to date, you can have a look at my.sketchup. That's going live now, it's coming out of the beta version and this will be the new free version of SketchUp. You can launch this from the web browser. One key benefit of this is it's versionless, which means you're always working to the newest version. It's also powered by Trimble Connect, so all your projects are stored in the web by default and will always be backed up, so no more auto saves. Next up, we've got advanced attributes. So moving in the direction of BIM and creating more intelligent components in SketchUp, we can now add more attributes to our components. The fields that they've added include things like price, size, URL, owner, and status. You'll find these in the entity info tray. They've also included a few toggles to better control these components. Okay, next up, another really good one, generate report enhancements. So you can have more attributes that you can add to your quantities report. You can also consolidate your report by using the group by function. This feature also gives you the option of consolidating your report by a few options. With the new IFC export improvements, you can now export those advanced attributes that you've added to your components. This will help you with a BIM workflow. Next up, we've got a long awaited enhancement that's actually been implemented, advanced section planes. Right, section planes can now be named. So as you add them, it's like adding a component. You can also find these in the outliner. As you add the section cuts, you will also see that the sections will be filled in via the style stray. Here you can turn this function on and you can also change the color of the fill. And the final benefit here is the section geometry will not be processed, which will improve the performance of your model. You can now draw rectangles from the center, just press the control key. Okay, and the final new SketchUp Pro features are native support for .stl files, so your 3D printing files, and also anti-aliasing is now supported in the Mac version, not just Windows. All right, next up we've got the new features for Layout 2018. And first up, we've got the new scaled drawing tray. This will allow you to use your SketchUp model as a base to accurately scale construction details, or you could just sketch a detail from this preset scale from scratch. These new details will be created inside a group, and you can now also hide the rest of your document, the same as in SketchUp. You can now also easily lock individual entities in layout, things like viewports, for instance, to stop you from accidentally selecting them. They've added a lot of drawing tool improvements inside layout to help you create your geometry easier. A lot of these features come from SketchUp, so feel free to pause the video at this point just to have a read through the bullet points. So one of the reasons of drawing in 2D at a preset scale is important is because a lot of layout users are trying to work with imported CAD geometry via like a DWG format. So in this release, they've introduced the ability to actually import those DWG files. So now the layout users can help themselves to like a vast world of DWG libraries and just bring in all those 2D AutoCAD blocks straight into layout. They've also improved the quality of the DWG files that you export from layout. You'll now also be able to dimension across viewports. And the final feature we're gonna look at in layout is the ability to tag these advanced new attributes. So when you place a tag in layout, you then get the option of clicking the drop down list and choosing one of these advanced attributes to display in your tag. And that's it guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you need any more information about uh, SketchUp 2018, feel free to go onto the uh, Exatech website. Uh, you'll find some details on there. You'll also see the training courses that we offer uh, and also other services. So again, if you have any questions, please get in touch. Otherwise, thanks for watching.